starting off um, with the letter set. So I'm just going to use the um, open face letters, which are the ones like this. Um, but this technique applies to any of the letters. Well now when you've stamped them you might find that even though you've got them up and you think that they're aligned that you end up getting them wobbly and a little bit crooked and they just don't seem to sit straight. And one of the reasons for that can be is to when these are cast, these are little stamps, if I hold this up you should be able to see. They're cast to be centred in the block. But over time and with lots of casting, sometimes they move even just a fraction of a millimeter. And when you're going to line those up, instead of them sitting with the even amount of base along the bottom here, um, you've got slight differences between where they're sitting in the frame of that base. So if you try to just position them in a row, butt it all up together, sorry, I try not to move my hands too fast, um, then even if your base of your stamps are dead on straight, um, if the letter itself is in a slightly different position within this square um, to the next letter along, or if it's slightly kind of not straight, um, then it's going to not look right. So this is a little method that was sent in by one of our customers uh, to show how to get around that issue. Um, because even if that is the case with your stamps, then even if you put them into a jig, you're still going to have issues. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit more water on this piece of leather. And I'll just let that soak in. So what I've done is I've made a little gentle light line with my awl just to give me my guideline. Um, and it's very, very faint um, so that it won't mark, it won't be visible later. Um, I've then got a credit card, it's actually my gym membership card which sadly I'm not using at the moment and some masking tape um, and I'm going to mask that down on my block to hold it in position and I've put a little bit of masking tape on the back of my leather piece and that also just stops it all moving. So if I press this down now I'm going to push this leather up so that the credit card is butting up to the line that I want to use. So I've just slid it underneath here and I'll take my first letter. I've got my first letter and what I'm going to do is instead of putting this up against the base of it here, because the credit card is thin, I think if I hold that to the camera the right way up, upside down, you should be able to just see the, the rays of the letters. So if you push the credit card to fit the bottom of those letters, then that's how you can get it straight. So if I slide that in until it meets the bottom, the credit card is meeting the bottom of the, that letter, I'm then ready to do my hit. So just to warn you, it's uh, going to be hitting now. And I forgot to check before I was doing it that the letter was the right way up. So this is just to demonstrate how you do that. You may not have ever noticed, but on these um, stamps, there's a little tiny line. And that line marks where the bottom of the stamp is so that you can always go to that point and, and do it. It does help if I probably should have my glasses on, but I've just seen the line there. What you can do as well um, is to put a little bit of a marker pen on the, this bottom bit, something a bit more obvious so you don't necessarily need to go to find your glasses to do it. So let's just do another one. I'm just going to press that down so it doesn't move. Holding the card down, butting it up and I'm hitting. Beautiful. So if I go to the next one, now what you can do is to leave that letter in place there so that when you go to your next letter you can make sure that the spacing is correct so again I'm looking for my little line down on the bottom to make sure it's facing the right direction and with the other one that I've left in the sitting in the recess I can push this along push it down onto the card and this is where having it all a bit stuck down can help so I'm just going to stick a bit on this corner just to hold it straight as well 
tapes moved up. There we go. So taking your time with it. Okay. Now this moisture content's really nice on this. I had a bit of moisture on it before I started as well, so I'm getting a really nice impression. What you want to do is to get your um, letters to look the same kind of darkness. Um, so having the leather well cased. If they do, one of them's looking a bit light in places. If you're careful, you can slide the letter back over and give another hit um, to get them to look all the same and to get it even. Okay, I'm going to do a D just to show that I can get them all correct with my glasses on. So looking from my base, lining up, pushing the letter up to the credit card. and giving a hit 